Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. This is actually part two of a previous video that focused on dynamic titles, meaning if you come over here to the categories and change depending on which categories you select or how many categories you select, the title actually changes. As a quick reminder, this is the function and it was used, it used count distinct. And so if there was only one, it would give you the category plus the word category. If it equaled the total number, the maximum number, that's what these things inside the curly brackets is doing, giving you the maximum number, then it would all categories. Otherwise, it's just selected categories. And that works great, except when you come to a table where you have a category um, it actually, you have a similar situation if you have, if you're trying to filter on categories and you have subcategories or products or even segments where there's a distinct one-to-one -one or a one-to-many relationship. If we, right here, we've selected done count distinct of categories, and we want this to be the count of all the categories selected. The problem is that we've got um, category in the, the row header. And so there's only going to be one for this category, one for this category, and there can only be one for binders, which is office supplies. So we looked at look doing level of detail calculation. First looked at doing fixed. You should have seen this before. Fixed, not going to put anything in there, just want the total number of categories. Then we're going to bring that over, and that gives us three. The problem is it's always going to give us three because it doesn't, it ignores all the filters. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to use the exclude function. And what this is saying is exclude both the sub subcategory and category level of detail. And the reason you need the subcategory is, I think, intuitive, but you need to get rid of the category detail as well, because for category furniture, there is only going to be one distinct category. And so that's going to always be a one. By getting rid of both these levels of detail, excluding them, we can get back to the count at the highest level for category. I'll show you what that does. You bring the category if next with exclude, you have three, now you have two, now you have one. Now we can come down and look at title. You have the, remember we're going to do the exclude, we're going to get rid of the subcategory and the category, and we're just going to count the categories that were left, excluding those. We have to add the min because we need to make this an aggregate function. And doing that down here as well. And uh, this is if it equals one in the category, or if it equals the max number, this should look somewhat familiar from a previous video. This is going to give you a total number of um, total number of categories in the whole data set. If it equals that total, all countries, otherwise multiple countries. You may think that you can delete all these minimums because um, but I did that and it turns it into a count function which is not what we want. We want to be able to have it return a string value. Select OK. I've already put that on the Details tab so that the visual can reference it. Edit Title. And you've done this before, too, under Insert. Come down here under, ag under Aggregate for Title. This is an aggregate function, and so that is why you want to select the minimum, the minimum category. And so now you've got already the technology. 
office supplies, multiple countries, there should have been categories, all. Oh. 